Today we're going to hit some volume deadlifts for strength, then a 7 minute AMRAP of toes to bar, heavy front squats, and double unders. We're also going to take you through our warm up, dumbbell only variations, and body weight only variations. Okay, hope everyone's enjoying a beautiful day while you're watching this. Let us know in the comments where you are from and what the temperature is right now. We have some deadlifts to get warmed up for, so here we go. Two round warm up. Inchworm push up plus air squat. Put your hands on the floor, walk your hands forward, do a push up, walk your hands back, that's our inchworm. Move your feet out to shoulder width and perform a air squat. We're gonna do that eight times. Then we'll go for dead bugs. Round one, you can just do these unweighted, laying on the floor, tuck into a crunched position. Notice Carly has one hand and one knee pointed up towards the ceiling or the sky, and then extends the opposite hand and opposite foot. Okay. On round two, feel free to add a weight. You'll be holding a dumbbell or kettlebell in front of the chest as you're doing those. Then move over to a uh, pull-up bar. Round one will go 15 second dead hang. Just let your shoulders stretch out and relax. On round two, we'll go for a 15 second active hang where we're engaging the lats, pulling the shoulder blades down. Okay, after that, drop off, shake out the hands, eight hollow swings. Let's think about stretching from the fingertips to the toes. Make your body long in the back swing. Really get that extension, that big arch. Point your toes down, keep your knees straight. Excellent. And then finally, warm up your jump ropes. 30 seconds of practice. General progression I like. Single under jumps, followed by alternating jumps, followed by one leg jumps, followed by some double under practice. Yeah, guys. Today we're gonna deadlift but we're gonna deadlift with a little bit lighter percentages, working on touch and go volume. So recommended for your first round is gonna be 60% of your max, and then assess or build from there. So we're doing, in one round, we're gonna do a touch and go set of nine deadlifts, okay? Let's see a deadlift, Carly. Have the barbell over the shoelaces so it's close to the shins. Make sure your back is straight and your shoulders are pulled back. Lift the bar to extension, lower the bar back under control without bouncing the bar at the bottom. Get a light touch right into your next rep. Okay, so you're gonna do a set of nine, drop the bar, rest exactly 20 seconds, then you're gonna go right into another set of seven touch and go reps. Once you're done with those, rest another 20 seconds, and then the final set of five touch and go. So in one round, you're gonna be doing a full 21 deadlifts, okay? So after that set of five, you have a two minute rest to recover. If you'd like to add weight and go heavier, feel free. But again, we're working on volume of our touch and go deadlifts. So um, volume over weight today. So the workout today is gonna to be short. It's only seven minutes and the weights are very heavy. That means spend probably a good seven minutes just warming up uh, building for that heavy front squat today and priming your system so you're ready to go because it's only seven minutes, okay? So in seven minutes, as many rounds as possible of nine toes to bar, hop up to the bar, push your chest forward into that big arch position, and then use that tension to help swing your feet up to make contact at the bar. Then three front squats from the floor. You can power clean or squat clean into that first rep. Keep the elbows up. Make sure you're really focused on breathing. We want to take a deep breath in to help brace the midline before we initiate our squat. Three reps, then 45 double unders. Okay, scale the weight appropriately. The front squat should be heavy, but they should be unbroken. You don't want to have to power clean it any extra. Uh, we want everyone to get three rounds, ideally four full rounds, okay? For the dumbbell only variation, we're gonna go seven minute AMRAP of nine V-ups, lay on the floor, bring your hands up to touch your toes, make sure you're lifting your back off the ground as you're doing these, into six dumb double dumbbell front squats, okay? Carefully lift the dumbbells to the shoulders, 
have them sitting on top of the shoulders as we descend through a full squat, six of those, and then 45 double unders. For the body weight only variation, we're gonna go seven minute AMRAP of nine V-ups, nine air squats, so nice and quick between those two body weight movements. And then if you have a jump rope, 45 double unders, if you don't, 15 jumping jacks. Okay, uh, since it's pretty quick, if you're doing those body weight variations, feel free to go through two, three cycles, depending on how much time you have to work out. Thanks to see you all tomorrow, guys.